Hey guys, welcome to Zero Reacts. It's your girl Zero, and today we're gonna to be checking out our response to LeRae Distract T Talk from Josh Richards. Um, but if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, let's get this video to 100 likes. Comment any other video suggestions you have down below, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> I'm we dead. Have enough any energy. <laughs> swipe up, go get it. All right, or it doesn't come from Either or, this is not a swipe up because it, it, it's a YouTube video. I was We're about to say. So, key talk for you this week. A few things happened. I mean, uh, like one. One. Uh, we're going to start mm -hmm. like pretty, like, you know, slow. I feel like we shouldn't go into anything too crazy. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, I was going to go into the Griffin thing, but then I was like, this would be way more funny if I went into your thing. It's like you and I, Addison. Why are you making up so much? What's going on? Dude, like, what do you mean? Well, if you actually see right here, there's a, that's a draft. Okay, so that's a draft. That's like, in, in oh, that's like maybe eight months ago. Mm -hmm. The trend just became a famous price. Stop. Now, it's possible that party animal merch came out like probably a month ago. Yeah, it's fing dope. So if you guys go get a shot, just for Alright, alright, moving on to board that minute. You were also spotted with her actually. Holy shit, I look jacked this fucking bad. Are you kidding me? You look like a swollen walrus. <laughs> is that a fat joke? Yeah, it is. So speaking of fat, speaking of people being fat, Bryce Abs is so fat that he had to get them literally stimulated. Stimulated. <laughs> stimulated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got my abs stimulated, and a lot of fitness influencers are coming at me. And actually, on that specific video itself, there were just a bunch of one saying, "Where's Zabs at? He's fat. Like I hate him." So then I come to this. How the people in the comments talking can't even lift their own body weight in the gym? Shut up. Hit the gym and stay mad. Shut up. you guys even fucking lift? You guys are all smallish. Wait, shit. Who's getting big? No pre-workout. Me, do your bed. The red. You know, he did his like little diss track thing. He posted this video while he was playing uh, Among Us, and it was just like talking about how people like get offended really easily. Anyways, let's just like, take a listen. I honestly just wanted to make light of certain situations. I mean, yes, some people that I did mention did do some shitty things, and you know, that wasn't a joke, and it was me being dead ass serious. I'm like, hey, you're a fucker, you need to keep on out. But, like, he got a bigger Peter Angel right here, so I'm like, that was it. Anyways. <coughs> Dude, what, if anything, he roasted both of us. <laughs> he said we're bullies. Yeah, he did say that. You can't expect to roast people, which we do, right? It, it's making fun of, yeah, it's making a joke out of a situation 100%. Lorraine did the same thing. So it's like we, as creators that make fun of people and like do that, we need to be okay to like take a joke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, the fact that people aren't is kind of stupid. So same with Lorraine, you can take this constructive criticism. Fuck you, Lorraine. <laughs> I don't think you want to do that, Bryce. Maybe third degree. Third, third or second. You might not. If you're a creator or if you're a fan and you throw sh at people, just expect it to come back every once in a while. And you got to be okay with that. We are so okay with it. We don't cry ourselves to sleep at night. Never. Once. This Christian fucking Oliveira. Is that his name? I don't know his last name. I don't know. Anyways, he's trying to call it our boy, Jay. Shane and Hustler. You know Jay Hay. You know Jaha. You know JXDN. Jock's not. He's making fun. Exactly. So, a point being, this guy's like weirdly trying to come at Jaden. Very convenient, by the way, that it happens to be right around when Jaden was getting high because of the song. Like, mm. of course, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so That's what people do, though. Jaden's releasing tonight. Let me just. I was his producer from day one. Why <laughs> for me? Just respect. Just the respect. Like, if I'm gonna go out of my way and do that for you, and you know that I went out of my way and I did that for you. Yeah. Bro, you guys charged him a shit ton of money for that production when he had no money, and then you guys tried to sue him. You told him he couldn't release a song, otherwise your lawyers will be involved. But then you go on social media and just do it for like a clout thing. Like, why, why don't you, why didn't you just go to your lawyers, bro? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> just like, Lawyer people kind of reminds me of someone you went at this week on Twitter. Oh Maybe. wait, what did I do? Oh, so you actually there's this kid named uh, Zach Clit 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 
come for tiktokers like every like okay every other like celebrity on their level but who like in different niches such as youtubers even bigger celebrity other celebrities having party like 21 savage just had a 70s birthday party flipping queen Naja just had a birthday party tiana had a party a little back who else jada just had a party like people are having parties people are so different with the tiktok community it's like a TikToker has a party and it's like, you know what? Just hang them, kill them, let's throw rocks at them, let's let's just dead them, let's cancel them. But it's like other people doing it and it's like Y'all most closed. Like I never seen nobody trying to cancel these other celebrities for even celebrities who like on the same level as them for coven parties. Like I just don't understand it. Like I feel like y'all just using this to just try get a way to get cloud to me to be honest that's how i feel because like come on bruh like are y'all talking about these other influencers who are not in the tiktok community are y'all talking about them no y'all not talking about them they're just using these tiktokers names for cloud and i get you but still like it's so just like it's just hypocrite so it sounds like a bunch of hypocrites and then the fact that this guy went to bryce party is like you're the biggest hypocrite of them all. Now you're trying to say, oh, you learned from your mistakes. No, you just, you had fun at your party, at the party, and then you saw people were getting canceled, and then now you want to try reverse and try to pretend like you're on the side of so woke and so, like, I'm woke. Like, I don't know. Like, y'all got to understand. Like, come on. We've been in a pandemic for nine months. Like, that's the amount of time it takes to have a child. Like, come on, it's, it's going to come to a point where we're just going to have to live with this. Like, COVID is not going anywhere. For example, my country has been on lockdown for the majority of those nine months. And our cases are still rising. So, what's the point? It's just something you're going to just have to learn to live with as a civilization, as a world. Like, it's not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> This guy did that 100% favorites because I continue to see him at parties and other people's Snapchat stories. The best part about all of this is that somehow Bryce Hall, the party animal, is the guy calling out people for COVID and quarantine. And it's not that I'm calling them out, it's just like when the ones that do party, right. they're the ones that preach online, they're a mess. It's like just fake. It's fucking yeah. fake, bro. Talking about tweeting, not tweeting shit. I guess. Kelly Osborne and Griffin are dating. I don't know if they're dating, but they're definitely going out a lot. Yeah, like there's this one uh, article I actually saw in Metro Entertainment. Oh my goodness. Uh, TikTok star Griffin Johnson heads to dinner with Kelly Osborne after split with Dixie D'Amelio. So <laughs> they really had to do Yeah, I know. I know they had to fuck. Dude, I'm sure what I want to do for a moment. Oh, why? Three years down the road. <laughs> Griffin Johnson gets married after being with the Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I hope uh, Kelly Osborne and Griff are happy. Huh? Yeah, I hope they're they're doing great. Talking about people that, you know, are in love with themselves so they're confident enough to post their news, Malou made an OnlyFans. Weirdly enough though, I think her Bro, that's how to pronounce her name Malou, but I've been calling her Malou. I don't know, bro. Sis so couldn't wait till she turned eighteen though that she was gonna have a party and being so evident about it somehow saved her from some of the backlash 
Hey, it doesn't help me. No, you, hey, for you it's just fucked you more. <laughs> at least she's telling us. Right, like, oh, at least she's letting us. Right, 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 so you did the exact same thing. No, 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 fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, give That's a great thumbs up. Go over to my channel, subscribe to me. No, don't, guys, don't do that. I have way crazy well, No nope. coming out right now. No, it's not even out. I mean, yeah, it is, but still don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll see you all next week on T-Talk. Superman, life, peace. Go watch my podcast. Be a best bitch. Some parts of sports are called be a best bitch. Okay, guys, so that was the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see the next episode of T Tour. But thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.